who are unmarried and child free are the happiest subgroup of the population as a whole. Men. Women who are having kids and getting married is a scam for women. Women who are unmarried and childless are the happiest people of all, according to a professor of behavioral science. First, I think they meant to say child free because childless people, I don't know if they're as happy because they're they want to have kids, but they can't. So I don't know. Uh, they might have used the wrong word there but let's continue women who are unmarried and child free are the happiest subgroup of the population as a whole according to a happiness expert i didn't know we had happiness experts out there hmm. and now you know paul dolan a professor of behavioral science at the london school of economics says that while men benefit from being married women generally do not although tying the knot and having children are typically considered markers of success in our society women who shun this pressure despite the stigma tend to be happier and healthier as a result. Who would have thought? Professor Dolan says that unmarried and child-free women are also likely to outlive their married child-rearing counterparts and are healthier than them. <laughs> the latest data demonstrated that long-established traditional symbols of success did not necessarily correlate with happiness levels. This best-selling author who carries out original research into the measurement of happiness and its causes and consequences noted that men in comparison benefited from marriage as they calm down. Hmm. The men, they take less risk and they earn more money at work and they live a little longer. The woman, on the other hand, has to put up with that and she becomes unalive sooner than if she never married. <sighs> the healthiest and happiest population subgroup are women who are never married or had children i am shocked <laughs> you guys tried to gaslight us into getting married and having kids a lot you're like oh it's the best thing that'll ever happen to you you'll never find true love unless you have kids and marriage and da -da -da -da. but the science is saying the exact opposite Marry people who are happier than other population subgroups but only when their spouse is in the room when they are asked how happy they are when the spouse is not present they're effing miserable <laughs> So basically, they're saying, if you're a man, you should probably get married. If you're a woman, don't bother. <laughs> Having kids and getting married. When big women talk like this, I, I I don't know if I should feel bad or just be like, she just needs to go to the gym and lose weight. Ladies, men, since the beginning of time, want intimacy. That means to blow your back out, smash, clap, whatever you want to say. Men have been, always been chasing to smash conquerors and everybody. Soldiers are every version of man was aiming to smash. Men even went so far to collect resources to show I am the best of the best just so he can have plenty of women to smash. Men have killed other men. Just so they can get that man woman to smash and then collect more women to show his strength. Throughout time, men have did outrageous things to smash. I have no idea why women think that we men are begging for marriage, especially in modern time. We have the biggest 304 pandemic ever. I wouldn't even tell a man to get married if his life depended on it. To sit here and say he will be more happier if he's married. You have to understand who he's marrying. We are marrying emotional beings. Every human being have emotions, but we're not, men are not emotional beings. Like we're not ran by emotions. Them guys in the old time didn't have this so-called emotional intelligence. They didn't have this nonsense that y'all created. They went out there and did stuff, proved their worth, grabbed plenty of women. They didn't care about the marriage thing. They had plenty of women. If they did have the marriage thing, they had a whole bunch of concubines. Through our time, guys wanted a platoon of women. If you tell a man you don't have to marry nobody and still get a platoon of women like Hugh Hefner, I will do it. The marriage concept is to show balance within society. So we wouldn't have them six dudes and them 50 women out here procreating. It was to show balance because them, them six dudes are not high class men. They're not resourceful. But somehow, some way, six dude has accumulated 50 women. Six individuals have accumulated 50 women. You would think they're conquering all top of land. 
Those are your average degular man that's walking. Some of them could be homeless and they have accumulated a platoon of women. At one point, you had to be a man of value to get that type of access. But because 304 stage is happening right now, the phase is going through. You women are giving nothing away for a price. Well, you're giving everything away for a price. I said it wrong way back then. You're giving everything away for a price. And the price is not even expensive. Sadly, it's not. Sometimes it's for the free or sometimes for a cheeseburger. Because a lot of you women sit here, oh, you know, uh, he, he made me feel something. What he offer you? He gave me a bag of hot Cheetos and you let him clap? He brought some honey and you let him clap? Like, it, it don't requires nothing for a man to get what he wants nowadays. Oh, you know, marriage is more a construction for men. No, it's a construction to protect women and society. It will it, the man has to have certain things to be able to take your um take you out the house and marry you. Now he just have to have a cheeseburger outside and you running outside with no clothes on. He got a bag of hot fries and you run to his car. Where are we going? Y'all getting flued out. This is how serious it is. We live in a generation. Where women in relationships who are married and everything, they get flued out to meet a random man to lay in bed with him. And you believe marriage is for the benefit of what? Men? Women want to be 304s. Y'all will travel. Y'all will say, these guys are weird. These guys are creeping the internet. But you will travel half across the world to go meet a man you never knew existed. To lay in bed with him. Be away from your family. Be away from protection. Go to even a whole nother country to go sleep with a man. And you want a man to value you? Oh, you know, marriage is for the man. How? How? What man want to sit here to know that this woman, if some, if the right guy hit her up, she will get on a flight and go travel the world to go see this man. But if another man tell her, I'm trying to take you out to eat, or what you, what, what, how much you spending? What are we doing and stuff like that? All, all this, why is it that? Y'all sell yourself for absolutely nothing. Marriage was never meant to protect men. It was protect women. It was to make a balance. Make, so she could be with a man that had value. In the old times, the conquerors had multiple stuff. The guys of value had multiple stuff. Random guys wasn't collecting six by, uh, 600 women bodies and stuff like that. We have a new generation where six men can accumulate 50 women. The 304 stage is taking place in front of us. We start recommending you should have been married these women because of how they carry themselves. They don't value themselves, but they want us to overvalue them. It makes zero sense. Why in the world will I cuff a girl that got flewed out five times within the last year? She flew out five times within the last year, and now she's ready for a real relationship. You went out the world to go sleep with guys. For what reason? Because I was having fun. I was living my life. And you want me to overcompensate for this used international box? This box go out, it go outside the country to go be used. And you want me to keep it? What logic? Marriage is to help you women. Y'all need Jesus. A man has to provide something, be of some kind of service to the world, to the family. Then he can get a wife. But nowadays, y'all don't do nothing. Y'all give it up to men that's living in the streets. You, We will literally have women come up here tell the baby they don't have a job or a car. And we're trying to figure out what made you want to give birth to a man who don't have a car or job. And you say, I'm going to give him a child. You give birth to that man's child. That makes zero sense. And we have to sit here and be like, what compels you? You know kids are expensive. But you will go out there literally. Give it up to a man living in a box. You are smashing a man in a box, a cardboard box. And then you want the man that's living in the house to say, nah, you, you, you can do better than that. You can come and live. For what? For what? You don't have a price on that thing. You, you're not valuable no more. When you women travel and do all these things, you show us the value of your vagina. It's worth nothing. It's worth nothing. I wouldn't, I'll be damned before I get on one ring when I know you've been using that box nonstop to this wear it out. I, it will make zero sense to me. It will make zero sense to me.
you give the box here, you give the box here, you give the box here. Everybody can get the box. Everybody. And then you go to the back of the classroom, you be like, there goes Sean. Sean, do you want the hell not want that damn box? The whole classroom had it. People are tired of seeing your box. You even have to understand. When everybody have access to that box, nobody wants that box no more. It's used. Everybody used the box. Marriage was meant to protect that box. It was like walls confined to keep that box safe. Only your husband can get to that box. You women opened the floodgates. All you women, all you guys around the world can get the box. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, every part of the world. If you want this box, it's open. And then it's, it don't make sense. It don't make sense. Marriage is at an all-time low, and it's disgusting at this point to me. Like, you really have to find a woman that's not going to give you a headache, that's really going to be respectful and all this stuff. You go above and beyond really vetting. I'm talking about vet like your life depends on it. Because it's just no way I'm going to sit here and accept this woman selling her box international. And then say, oh, you know, I, I deserve it. No. And then here's the thing. Women ask for marriage. Guys are not begging for marriage. Guys are not here saying, if a man wants to marry you and he don't got stuff to get, he's just trying to waste time. Most of these guys feel like the only way they can get you in bed is by marrying you. Or get, get, give you a child and get stuck with you. Every marriage is not a good marriage. Me personally, I don't see the value of marriage nowadays, to be honest with you. These women don't value themselves. Marriage is a secret code, a government thing. I, I, I believe it's a good covenant for a certain degree. I don't know if I'm, it depends on your religion. I believe it's a good covenant to certain things. But people don't take it seriously no more. Especially these women. This woman is a whale. Sitting on that couch laughing about this. Nobody's worried about we're marrying her. And I'm not being disrespectful. I'm being honest. Nobody's worried about marrying her. She's talking about some, I'll be happier being single. Every fat person, if you want to be alone, be alone. Fill your house up. We got them Trudos. Twinkies. Nobody gives a damn. You see 600 pounds. They, they got a show for them fat boys. Them fat girls. Trying to lose weight out here. Every day they're, they're taking a the fat off them. They're back. Like, it's crazy to me. We don't care about stuff like that. That, that, that have nothing to do with society. Overweight people. I don't know how in the world you help society. But y'all here, we got to accept it. It's life. But I don't see it. It's unacceptable. You talking about I want to be single or not marriage. Y'all big women. Nobody's lining up to marry y'all. And y'all know this. Like, it, it doesn't make sense. But this marriage confinement thing was meant to protect women. And they don't evaluate. They go out here. These women out here traveling the world. Why they married and telling some? I'm still gonna have girls trips. I'm still travel the world. I'm still gonna do this. I'm gonna go meet this other person. I'm gonna go on dates. I'm gonna deal with this guy and stuff like that. It's nonsense. Y'all respect marriage. The way to act single is the same way to act married. They don't make sense. How does that that work? But like I'm scared, guys. No, he don't want. Ladies, y'all are wearing me out. Let's talk.